Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Okay, so we have the official bandwagon of Odell Beckham Jr. that where everybody on the Dallas Cowboys and the Dallas Cowboys organization has gotten on. They are welcoming the welcome wagon. They are going on an all-out press for Odell Beckham Jr. The two people that I said <clears throat> I want to hear from, to be sure, I said I want to hear from Dak Prescott because he's the guy has got to throw to him. And does he feel like this is a guy I can get along with. I mean, there was kind of some, maybe between Des Bryant and Dak Prescott, maybe some Cole Beasley and Dak Prescott. I, I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> at least maybe that was in the media. And so you heard Dak Prescott saying, hey, you know, I understand it's a business and everything else, but who would not want Odell Beckham Jr.? But then again, Dak Prescott could be a politician in the future because he knows how to ride that fence. He can ride that fence. The other one <clears throat> that I said that we had not heard from was Stephen Jones, a.k.a. Cap Boy. That's right, Cap Boy. What the hell's going on out here? <clears throat> so as the Cowboys get ready to hopefully make the playoffs. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Yeah. Playoffs? Playoffs. Stephen Jones finally responded, the last one to respond, and here's what we got. Stephen, subject to free agents, your dad went on the radio down in Dallas and was asked about Odell Beckham and said, look, if he puts on the Cowboys helmet, it would look pretty good. Uh, he's getting closer to being able to play now. Obviously, you're trying to tweak the team, always get better. How do you evaluate that situation and what goes into making a decision like that? Well, first of all, we've always emphasized around here that player acquisition is 365 days a year. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, you know, we played against Odell most of his career when he was with the Giants. And uh, he's one of those guys that, uh, you know, he, he, he can hurt you. And, uh, uh, and I know he made a bunch of big plays against us. And uh, he's a free agent out there and certainly a guy that, uh, uh, you know, you have to be well, looking into in terms of uh, how he could make our team better. Obviously, what he did for the Rams last year and their Super Bowl run uh, was, uh, you know, he, it was huge and uh, gets to the game and it looks like he's going to have an MVP type performance. And then he has the unfortunate injury. But certainly, uh, you know, we're always uh, open uh, to making our team better. Uh, to have a guy like Odell Beckham, if he's recovered from his knee, which it sounds like he has, uh, you know, is a great way to make your team better. So it's natural that we would uh, have interest in that. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, like any free agent, uh, he, he can go anywhere he wants in terms of all 32. But, uh, you know, we, we want to make our compelling case. And uh, certainly uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, it, it's about business as well. So, uh, we'll just roll up our sleeves and uh, see if there's an opportunity for uh, us to uh, put a star on Odell's helmet. Is that like put a ring on it? Put a star on it? Put a ring on it? Put a star on it. So you've got Stephen Jones saying, you know, we're going to see. Yeah, but he, he's always said player acquisition is a 365-day-a-year job. What he doesn't put on there is as long as the price is right, because Stephen Jones is the money man. Um, it just mystifies me with Stephen Jones, where you're all in right now with Odell. I, I understand that. We, we know we have a need at wide receiver that, that that's been one area that's been lacking. That's not a secret and that you realize that you've made a mistake letting go of Amari Cooper for, you know, a handful of beans. Um, but it's funny because when you think about a player like, say, Von Miller, and maybe we need to kind of move on from the Amari Coopers and the Von Miller situation, but you had Von Miller, um, a guy clearly still who has it, that was also part of that Ram team getting that Super Bowl, who was interested in coming here, that is a difference maker, they wouldn't even pick up the phone and call him.
So I'm trying to understand the difference here of Von Miller versus Odell, because both of them were free agents. Both of them are guys that you look at and say they can definitely make the team better, unless maybe they felt like with Sam Williams and with Dante Fowler and the people that they had that that was a luxury that they couldn't afford as opposed to them looking that Odell is a necessity because we all have things that we want to get. Oh man, you know, I want to get me, you know, a big RV and everything else. I want to get one of those, but it's not a necessity of something that I have to have to survive. You know, a, a, a necessity is I got to have me, you know, a drill that I can drill and use to make some money with. Okay, that's a necessity. I have to have those tools to get the job done. Having an RV, that's a want. And maybe Von Miller was more of the want as opposed to Odell. Um, <clears throat> we're finally hearing um, Saquon Barkley now putting out there and saying that yeah you know we, i'd like to have him out there and they're like how come you're not putting out there because like i don't need to he knows me he knows the giant situation and so on um so there are people who want of course odell so it was here here's where it's interesting this is this is where it's interesting hmm This week, last year, was when Odell signed with the Rams for $750,000. My big question is, is what is it going to take for Odell right now? Odell now is coming off a second on the same knee ACL. Hmm. I don't know, because that's going to be the bottom line for the Cowboys is they're not going to want to get into a bidding war and overpay because we know Catboy is not one to overpay for anything. You know, we're talking about Jerry Jones buying wine at 7-Eleven, although it's not it's cheap wine, but it's not a cheap price there. Um, you've got everybody basically pointing and saying, Odell, this is where. You fit in best, you know, this is going to get you the most publicity, you know, and, and everything else. And some of that may be that the talking heads just want to have more to talk about. And having Odell here is definitely one of those things that they would be able to talk a lot about. So hold on to your hats, friends. We're going to see where all this goes and how it works out. Um, we're going to keep a watchful eye on it. But now you've got everybody. And I mean, uh, I guess the only other person we haven't heard from is Will McClay. And the scouting department and the doctors. That's the only people we have not heard from. So the Cowboys definitely must be all in on Odell Beckham Jr. We'll have this. We'll talk a lot more about this tonight at 9 o'clock. And I'll see you then.